Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BCEI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this may look like several days worth of time right here, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. Question revolves around the fact that today was quite the explosive move. Now, yes, the price did pull back here a little bit, but still, even where it closed here relative to where it was, still a good move. But that does bring up the logical question. Is there any sort of true power behind this move? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering this question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that's why I love charts, makes things very straightforward. And that level is down here at $1.05. Why is $1.05 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true strength, with genuine power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $1.05. Any sort of closes below $1.05 or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price heads down here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. You wanna see progress forward. Now, ideally speaking, meaning Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? If the price can hold up above $1.14, that would by far be the best, you know, uh, best choice for the price to make. But if it doesn't, I'm not saying that everything's ruined or anything like that. Like I said, that would just be the ideal situation. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this movement is gonna continue upwards, where are some of these key battlegrounds at? There's really two key levels of resistance. The first is the fun one, as I like to call it. And the fun one is just the previous high. I mean, I fully understand. It's always fun to talk about retesting highs, breaking new highs, and that is where $1.35 would come into play. But in many instances, there's other levels that first need to be you know, broken. There's other bridges that first need to be crossed. And in my opinion on this one, that first bridge that needs to be crossed is right up there at $1.25. So yes, $1.35 without question is a level of resistance. But before we start talking about that one, bulls first need to get above $1.25. All in all though, very solid date. It'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.